Visas is part of your team now too. I don't want to take Visas. Because if I take Visas with me, it'll piss off the Handmaiden and I want to do her questline. She is yes. almost dead. Heal. <laughs> Liam! Heal. Are you alright, Liam? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I just want to heal the hand. Alright. Perfect. We could see if... We could see... Oh, where are we? I'm lost. This way. If Tien has a lens. Uh... If we needed to, Tien may... Uh, we already had this conversation. Alright. I was hoping you'd sell us stuff, but obviously not. Huh. Free tunneler, regal visor, credits. He doesn't need them. <laughs> He'll be fine. Uh, oh, man. Now what do we do? I can go try to buy stuff, I guess. See if I can find myself a lens. Yeah. Uh, he has droid parts. All he has is droid parts. We need this if we want to repair HK, but I don't really want to repair HK because I know that he's evil. So I'm not too thrilled about that concept. Um... Other than that, I think there are people that can sell us stuff. I haven't done this quest line yet. Um, she seems pretty harmless, so I'm letting her stay. I didn't promise you anything. So he won't talk to us at all until we deal with what's her face over here. We can do this quest line. Actually, where is she? Is she around here? That was Vosk. He was the other bounty hunter. Where was she? This other trader. Is she around here? No. <laughs> I've completely forgotten where she is. Uh, is she around here? Oh, here she is! The path returns you here, I'm thankful. How may I assist you today? Unda across the way has a problem with you. One area is time to mention this one, I indeed fight by his intentions. The business is more important, however, whatever this one goes off it, I shall match it if to render his business without incident. What do we have to offer? Do you have a lens? You have crystals. You do not have a lens. We don't have an Adigan crystal. That looks pretty good. Damage plus two. When we eventually do get it. Hmm. Trade war. Alright, let's go back and talk to Unda. She's matched to this count, dude. Offer me a discount too. If you want a gun, you'll need to raise your offer. Well, 
Don't give me anything yet except what? Your mother they want to susi to mukarata to a chabi doko on our ranga mana. Uh <laughs> Go tell the exchange because in my description I'll be waiting. Uh I'm not scared of the exchange. <laughs> They make you hungry with no best coat and no best red armor. Go to the exchange to give them my description. I'll be waiting. We just got this message on the comm link. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. Hello, we're The Droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Welcome, Liam Neeson. I regret this message has taken so long in reaching you, but I only recently became aware of your presence on Nashdar. I am Visquis, a representative of an exchange of shipping interests here on the Smuggler's Moon. I'm extending an invitation to join you in my private lounge within the Jack Jack Tar, where we may speak without being disturbed. Um, I wish to discuss something of mutual interest concerning your past profession. And all right, I do come alone. One human in my presence is enough. Oh boy. Well, good thing it's not a trap. What are you talking about? It's obviously a trap. Could you please lighten up for one <laughs> second? <laughs> it may be a trap, but traps work both ways. Ah, uh, by a your remote's kind of in your neck. His back. kind of spread through the lower reaches of Narshadar, and he may have information. But the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. I will go see him. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. All right, let's save. Liam Forson it is. Do we have... We have a regal visor. That could help us. Um... Oh, we've got a regal visor equipped. Ah, so what what new stuff do we have? Do we have anything that could protect us? We have a breath mask. Let's equip this. Can we? Ah, oh, I need to go here. Here, here. No, here. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Breath mask. Okay, that should help us in the deck deck tar. Um, any of this better? No. Fortitude plus two. Alright, anything we can get better? Constitution plus one generation one. Fortitude one strength two. I feel like that might be better. Just, just, just seeing. Um, so I guess we have to go to the Jack Jack Tar now. Which is in the docks. Which is this way. Well, that was easy. We stirred up trouble. Oops. Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comm link if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Um... I'll be careful, Atten. I appreciate the warning, Atten. Thanks. You didn't follow me out here. Just warn me of that. Would you just leave me alone? I don't need or want your help. Just relax, I can handle it. Just wait here, I'll be back soon. I appreciate the warning, Atten. Thanks. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Uh... 
That's comforting. <laughs> All right, thanks. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return, and I know just the place. He's going to the Pazark Den, isn't he? <laughs> He's going to the Pazark Den, isn't he? Of course he is. It's Atten we're talking about. Oh boy. Liam Forsen. Let's go. So, you're the big oh. Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Narshida, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. Uh... Look, I don't have a lightsaber and I sure don't have time for this. Who are you? What's it to you? Who are you? I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. No. Look, I know that squid head Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jack Jack Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. So, what's it to you? Thing I have to do, this is the only way to meet Goto and settle this bounty. Uh... It's something I have to do. Well, whatever your reasons are, the fact you're meeting with Visquis is what I want to talk about. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are going to get real ugly real quick. Uh, I think I'm asking as far as this long. I've been talking ever since I entered the Republic space. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Oh, boy. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. He is. He's in the Pazak A few den. drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Give me a hit of Juma and keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Or? I have a bad feeling. These were the... These were the bounty hunters, right? <laughs> yeah? What happened to your master? He was made deceased. We serve no one but ourselves. And you, of course. Tell us, why have you come to the smuggler's moon? Perhaps you're looking for something? Perhaps us? No, I'm here protecting someone. Keeping them out of trouble. By acting as a distraction for people looking to harm him. Harm him? Oh, you think we are assassins, yes? We're not assassins. Assassins kill for money. It is not what we do. We only wish the exiles submit, or else we shall kill you and find other babes. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? If that is what you wish, then we shall end you. It's been too long since we have killed. Oh boy. Let's just calm down for a second. Let's all just calm down. <laughs> Let's just calm down. Uh, let's have a look, see. His ripped jacket is amazing. It gives a defense bonus of four. Also, is plus two, not upgradable. That gives us less dexterity bonus max. That's less defense bonus. Um, can we give him... He won't fare well with... Um, ranged weaponry. We need to give him 
um, physical weapons. Long staff, top of the Viper Blade. Why can't I use a Viper Blade? Okay. Handmaiden staff. I didn't even know we that we had this. We'll have to give that to the handmaiden because she'll probably be really good with it. Um, do we just equip them with two swords or the force pike? I think the force pike. As weird as it's going to be to see Anne wielding a force pike, I think that's probably our best bet. Um. Then I'm going to save in a new slot. Uh, Atten is dead. <laughs> uh, let's go for this one. <sighs> Uh, we could level him up. <laughs> but yes, leveling him would be a good idea. Uh, that'll full heal him. It's all part of the strategy! Okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work. All right, new plan. New plan. We run for the door and we try to cheese it. <laughs> and we use the... Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, let's not go over the board. Let's not go overboard. Well, I want to save. I want to save leveling as an emergency heal. Alright, uh, let's. Let's just attack. Ah, no, I swear to God. Alright, that's one down. Let's heal. Well, these are four. Let's save. And Atten is dead. Uh, and... Oh, remains. Exchange negotiator, Twilight Spinning Blade! Let's kill her sister with her... her <laughs> blade. What's this? Uh... It's balanced, that's good. On here, attribute damage strength DC 18. The deadly Twilight... Twin sons, each wielded one of these deadly blades. Their victims had the rare pleasure of witnessing their beauty choreographed slaying. Oh well, let's let's kill her now. Let's just make a mess all over the bar. Look at all these score these black marks. Hey, that's not fair, you can't heal. Hey! Let's try critical strike then. Well, that's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. 
I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. But I want to loot the other body. <laughs> I want to get the other blade. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course, it makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters in Nar Shadda is off. There's going to be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. He was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after him as well. We need to go rescue him. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than he is. Oh boy! Look, oh look, refugees here on the landing pad. Are you lost? Or perhaps you've lost your criminal Jedi exile leader. Perhaps leader of the Zugs, very powerful, very skilled hunters. It'd be very smart of you to tell me where your criminal Jedi has gone. I do speak very quickly. My patience is very low. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. I love, I love them. <laughs> I love my party. They're amazing. Oh, they're so good. Well, this is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. All right. Uh, it certainly has a distinctive smell. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. Um, one well, doesn't seem to bother you much. You could say I've gotten used to it. This is actually perfume compared to how the rest of the docks smell. Uh, so why did you bring me you here? You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is... He intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. Um, I still need to meet with Goto. What are you going to do about it? Hmm. Oh, you will. Just not right now. In fact, you're going to stay here until I meet with Visquis. That's some imagination you've got. How do you, how do you figure that? Well, that smell you noticed when you came in, it's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers like I have is going to start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just I was wearing a breath soon. mask, though. And I'll be back soon. Excuse me. <laughs> I was wearing a breast mask, though. So it seems the exile has chosen to come after all. Still the entrance to the Jack Jack car. Unlock the sequence into the private chamber. I will meet the human there. I brought the Jedi to you, now where is Goto? You shall be compensated, Han Ha. The trap is not yet sprung. Until then, I request your patience. Alright, we are Mira. We're back in the waddle suit! Look at us go! I don't know where we're supposed to be going in here. <laughs> I love it! So there's a red one that looks like a white one. 
Echo0325, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying the entertainment that I seek to provide. Are we going the right way? I don't know. Everything looks the same here. Private lounge. Alright, this has to be it, right? Ah, you have finally arrived. Please come in and remove that cumbersome suit. The air here is quite suitable for your kind. Do not be taken aback by my hospitality. I assure you no one will harm you as long as you are my guest and we keep things... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. Restrain yourself, Hanhar. There is no need for violence. I gather from your conversation that this is not the Jedi invited here. It's difficult for me to tell you humans all look so alike for me. Space racist! How's you can explain what I am the honor of this visit and where I might find the Jedi? Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. Ah, what a prime example of human arrogance. What you know is substantially less than what I know, otherwise you would not have come. One, everything that goes in the Jekyll car is invisible to Goto. It is something I discovered by accident, and I have tested many times to ensure accuracy. Second, I am not acting on Goto's orders, not anymore. Hanhar and I have reached an agreement to deal with Goto altogether, and collect a tidy sum for Voga. You signed on with Voga the Hutt? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. He might, it is possible, but it is a risk I am willing to take. You see, Voga is very tired of having his freighters hijacked by Goto. It is causing his word to have less weight on Nalhutta. There is a leak of his operation. Oh, they're making fun of how much he weighed. Rather than simply find the leak and eliminate it, his anger... Oh, bleh. Unfortunately, Goto was very careful about showing himself to others. Voga's employee Hanha discovered this when he attended the gathering on Goto's yacht. It is always holograms of Goto. Always. But I have a suspicion that Goto will reveal himself to a Jedi. When that happens, that is when we're playing the strike. Unfortunately, it's clear he will not reveal himself to a, to a two-credit bounty hunter with the audacity to try and strike a deal with me. So please, tell me where the Jedi is. I am not in the mood for negotiation. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is, it's my bounty, and that means he's under my protection. How predictable. Very well. Oh my god! Take her away, it looks as if we'll not be getting a Jedi this day. What of our deal and my payment? Hanha, please, calm yourself. The Jedi was on the way to meet us when inside that. Must be patient. If he's a Jedi, perhaps he'll come for her out of some misguided sense of protectorship. If not, then he will come meet with me, and we may strike another arrangement. Hmm. Hmm, indeed.